What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to react to some of the scariest videos on the internet, like this self-driving baby car, a keto that ghost smacked the door on his face, a ghost of a monkey driving a horse, and something black in the cave. You're about to witness some of the scariest videos found around the internet. What a handsome cookie, do you maybe have- No, we don't have his mobile number, Candace. This is some random person from the internet. And by the way, what are you doing here? I thought only me and Parker record today's video. Chester, calm down. I invited her as a guest for today's episode because we got more views because of her. Yes, I'm popular and people like me. I quit. Don't mind him, guys. He will be back and now let's watch. So the first clip was recorded by a home camera and in it we can see some typical American family, a mother eating chips while her husband plays on his phone and the kid's basically standing there and doing nothing. And all of a sudden the boy started running like a demon had possessed him. And when he's running close to the door, all of a sudden, something moves the door, hitting the kid and throwing him on the ground, which I can't deny is in some way satisfying. That poor kid might break his spine and you're saying it's satisfying? No, I didn't mean that. I mean, it's satisfying when we see someone fall. Oh, uh, okay. This is fake as poop. The parents of this child probably installed some kind of mechanism on that door to prevent the baby from running around like a crazy. Might be. I guess we will never find out. Let's go to the next clip. So it's not actually a clip, but just the photo. But they claim that it was taken from the security camera. And as we all know, cameras make the movies and not the photos, but whatever. This camera took a photo of something weird in the garden in the middle of the night, probably 20 minutes after midnight, but they forgot to add a zero to the clock. The owners of the garden claim that it's her dead grandma who died some time ago. And they also claim that the day when the photo was taken was grandma's birthday. This thing looks nothing like a grandma. And what the freak is this lighting at the bottom? Does the grandma like to play with fireworks? It was her bird's day she was celebrating. Candace, she is dead. She couldn't play with the fireworks as a ghost. Who would sell fireworks to a ghost? Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's fake. Let's roll another clip. Okay, so this next clip was shared on Facebook. That explains a lot. Why, you don't like Facebook, Candace? Yes, I don't like them since they blocked my account and said that the only way to unlock it is to scan and send them my passport, ID, eyes, fingerprints, size of my boobies, address, my mom's address, my bank account number, and my telephone number. I just think it's a little bit too much. I feel your pain, Candace. Okay, so in the next video, we see that something is moving stuff in the work area. Holy brick, that scared me. For a moment, I thought I saw a human with a white dress coming out of the wall. You indeed have a nice imagination, Chester. This is just ghost moving toilet paper. Ghost doesn't need toilet paper. They don't have buttocks. And why the heck is the cameraman shaking the phone so hard? Chester, it was recorded by the phone, but somebody recorded it by recording the screen of the monitor. By the way, let's roll into the next clip. Actually, it's not a clip, it's a photo again. Okay, this photo was taken by the horse owner because she noticed that her horse acted weirdly. After she took the photo, a strange figure sitting on her horse was seen in the photo. What the crick is that? It's clearly a monkey. And why is there all of a sudden a mist in the barn? Someone tried really hard to make it scary. Chester, I need to agree on this with you, but I wonder how the horse can act weird. I don't know. Maybe he neighed. Let's move on to the next video. This one is very interesting. We see some dudes in the cave, and one of them acts like he forgot to turn off the iron in the house. The second dude is some kind of shaman. He grabs some dust from the ground and acts like it's magic powder, and then he points to something in the back of the cave, and they claim it's a mysterious creature. Well, all I can see is some dude with white mustaches crawling. <laughs> What are they saying? I don't know Arabic. I know a little bit. I will translate. The man with a turban is saying that he has one magic stick, and this stick made his friend unconscious, and now he will use his magic abilities to put his friend to sleep. He also tells them to stop recording, and if they want to record, they need to pay him more. Like two, no three dollars. What? How do you know Arabic? I was dating an Arab man some time ago. Okay, we don't want to know the details, Candace. I think this video is absurdly fake. Let's move on to the next one. This photo was taken from the listing for the house. Somebody wanted to sell this house for $39,000. What? This hovel for 39,000s? My house looks 10 times better and I would sell it for $3,000 if somebody wanted to buy it. 
Listen, Candace, it's not over. Somebody wanted to buy it, and he called the agency, but they didn't take the phone from him. And later, that person saw that this photo was shared on some Facebook pages related to real ghosts, and they spotted a face of a ghost woman in the window. Then he again looked at the price of the house, and the real estate agents raised it three times. What the Rick? They raised the price because it has a ghost in it? They should lower it three times. Who mentally stable would like to buy a house with a ghost and pay three times more money for it? I don't know, Chester. This world has some really insane people in it. Maybe they like ghosts. How could somebody like ghosts? Would you like it, Candace, if a ghost kept scaring you 24 hours a day and wake you up in the middle of the night by making a noise? I'm used to it. Tommy wakes me every night and he is sucking my blood from my neck, but I love him. He's still doing it? Eh? Okay, let's move on to another video, but before we're going to do it, make sure to subscribe to our channel with a bell notification, and you will be able to see our next scary and mysterious videos. We aim to finally pass 2 million subscribers, so help us out and subscribe. Okay, so this video was shared by some dude on the Facebook page. It was captured by CCTV in a garage. Okay, so we see some baby car moving. Ghosts of babies are scary. Yep, also the father said that at the time of the recording there was no battery in the car because it was laying on a bench charging. But why didn't the ghost pick a Yamaha motorcycle or this Jeep baby car? Instead, he picked the smallest car in the garage. I don't know, Candace. Maybe he likes cabriolets. Okay, let's watch another clip. This clip was recorded by some girl who wanted to record her ice making machine because it makes very weird noises at night. Does it fart? No, Candace. This is not an I edited Life of Luxury episode. She even deleted that video for unknown reasons, but it was quickly re-uploaded so we could see it. Let's watch it. Okay, so I see a cute little girl with only one hand. Why is this supposed to be scary? Because the moment that the light is turned on, the girl disappears. She's just quick and she probably plays hide and seek. Candace, in this house, there's only one girl, the girl who recorded the video. This is clearly a ghost. Okay, a cute little ghost of a girl. What's the problem? I'm more interested in the sound of this ice machine. Candace, they didn't show that in the video? Then frick them. Roll on the next clip, Parker. Okay, so in the early 2000s, there was an abandoned asylum in Massachusetts. It was shut down in 1992, and when they closed it, it had an estimated 3,000 patients. All of them were mentally ill, and everyone claimed that horrible things happened here when this facility worked. For example, people poop in their pants because they have no toilets, and the only treatment was the lobotomy, which means they cut their brain cells randomly and thought that it would help the patients. Employers of this hospital to this day have those terrible memories. After they shut it down in 1992, stupid Kitos came here because they believed the hospital was haunted by patients who died here. But the video we are about to show you was not taken by trespassing kids, but by a security guard that worked here in the 2000s. When he had a walk in the basement of the asylum, he recorded this. Let's watch. Grab my hand, honey. Everything will be okay. It's just a basement in the abandoned asylum in the middle of the night. Okay. And where is the frickin' ghost? I just wasted two minutes of my life watching this crap. There is a ghost or something paranormal in the room, Candace. You need to watch more carefully. When the guard pointed the camera at the door, something inside just moved. It looks like it didn't want to be seen and wanted to walk away. What's interesting is that the guard initially didn't see that, but later, when he was watching the clip, he discovered this shadowy, mysterious figure. Holy moly, now I see that. What the frick is that? I don't know, but there is a lesson there. Never go alone to explore an abandoned basement of the asylum. What? Guys don't listen to her. Never go to places like that in the first place. No matter if you're alone or with a friend. Okay, let's watch another clip. The origin of the following clip is unknown. Even the sender of this clip doesn't know how he got it. He got schizophrenia or something? I don't know, Candace. The following video was captured by CCTV, and it shows a driveway with two strangers standing still outside the property. 
The owner wanted to scare them off by using his car's beam light, but it didn't work. Let's just watch what happens next. Get the frick off my property, you two dumbasses, or I will let my chihuahua dog bite you. Where the frick they go? They disappeared as soon as the owner turned on the stronger lights. Maybe they were vampires. The vampires don't like the light. I don't know, Candace. To me, they look like zombies. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Subscribe with the bell and smack the like button in the face. I'll see you in a couple more days with a new video. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator, and don't forget to subscribe.